What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another training guide. Today we are going to be covering Dennis Burkamp, the Iceman, one of the best players ever to grace the Premier League. He doesn't play as well in eFootball. He does go to a 97 overall rating as an SS, but we're going to be giving two different examples of how to train him up, right? <laughs> Look, right, the biggest thing with this card is, without sounding too down on it, it's not his speed, it's not his acceleration, it's not even his actual ability on the ball when he gets the ball. Yes, he's slow, as you can see there, but I think the biggest problem is his balance. Like, Dennis Burkham was one of the most brilliant players, like, you know, him, Eric Cantona, Berbatov, they were just such fantastic players. I know it's a random pull from Cantona and Burkham to Berbatov, but I'm talking about, you know, technical players that weren't traditional centre forwards, but were able to score goals, create, and be able to just be an absolute beast in front of, of the box, just creating space. Like, these guys, just their football IQ was so well, um, you know, like, on display um in everything that they did right so let's get the kind of basics out of the way first before we go over to his builds over on eFootball db so we've got him as an 85 ss he can play cf ss or amf we're actually going to be playing him more so as an amf slash ss like a kind of an advanced amf i would usually have like a deep amf which could be pedri that still gets back on defense or else have really um you know pushed forward uh kind of like a deep line forward more so so I think Burkham Down as a creative playmaker is going to be an interesting one. He did have a different version, which we'll get to in a second as well, um, which is going to be the deep line forward, which is slightly more, uh, you know, like just slightly faster and better in front of goal. Um, but this guy is actually quite a decent player because he's got 26 levels, right? So he does have long range curler, chip shot control, long range shooting, acrobatic finishing, first time shot. And of course he has one touch pass, true passing and soul control and sombrero he doesn't have double touch but he does have unwavering form and he is locked on a b rating and he looks like a beast as well i mean his player render is quite decent in my opinion and uh you know i grew up obviously with dennis burkamp playing for arsenal i was a united fan so there was always that rivalry there but he was a sublime player absolutely insane player to watch as well um throughout that season the 0102 season which this card is based on so what he lacks in acceleration means that you are kind of forced to train up this card a little bit different than you might train up traditional center forwards right usually you have center forwards that can be broken down into Romario, Lautaro Martinez, um, Mbappe the kind of fast mobile you know run and gun really versatile uh, kind of strike and dribble uh, in front of goals kind of bringing other players into into the game but really doing it all themselves um you have that is one center forward and then you have another center forward that is either you know collar berbatov Giroud, ibrahimovic cristiano ronaldo as a target man that can still score in front of goals and basically just hold up play as kind of an outlet pass right from the from an aerial battle if you're looking to dominate in the air but burkham kind of slots in between the two of those and i don't think he really shines in this game as much as he could i mean you do have to pop in a couple into his finishing to get it fairly high at 88 that will bring up his curl as well which i do like but even if you pop 13 into his acceleration yes you will have good balance and defensive awareness but you won't have good acceleration or speed or pretty much anything else for this card so you are, your hands are kind of tied in how you want to train up this card especially the balance that is the big disappointment on this card offensively he's fine like his dribbling his ball control his tight possession his low pass everything is fine right which means we just need to kind of change a little bit of what we are used to when we're training up players like this his stamina is a big killer as well so i would be using burkamp as an impact player he's one of those guys that doesn't really start for you he's going to come on right i'd forget about him in the air even though he's fairly tall i forget about him in the air his physical contact his header and his jump is just non-existent there's no point in training it up now i would probably train him up to have 85 pass or 85 finishing that's more than enough it's eight onto that that's the sweet spot the passing i think once you go to 78 82 on the low pass or else 84 with 78 lofted pass i think that's probably enough to be able to put balls in over the top and also for on the ground anything to on the ground so this is where we're going to just tr change him up a slight bit okay um compared to other builds that i've seen i'm going to put this at four as well to get that tight position at 88 i don't need dribble and i don't need ball control any higher than that for the role that we're going to play him in here i also don't need his lower body strength higher than 70 speed 67 stamina yes you could go three or four more into that to get 63 speed and 70 stamina but because we're going to be using him as an impact sub we don't need to focus on the stamina at all we're only going to be looking for 25 20 maybe 30 minutes out of our camp which is more than enough with 66 stamina this is where it kind of needs to make the decision um 
with the two different versions of him. So that's the base that we're going to build. Eight into shooting, uh, four into passing and dribbling, and ten into dexterity. As I said, I do want to have that acceleration and balanced and offensive awareness, especially offensive awareness because of his position that he's going to be taking up. So if you are struggling in front of goal and you like your strikers uh, to be able to finish their meat off their dinner table, lads, when they get a chance, I would pop the three remaining into finishing. That will also bring up your curl to 85. But if you are comfortable enough with finishing with players that are around the 82, 83, 84 mark, you will be getting the player form arrow boost with Burkamp to bring him up to an 87, 88, depending on the, on, on the form arrow boost. Um, I would probably pop it into the dexterity. The tree into dexterity is going to make this card just way better. Trust me, right? His 85 balance is going to be boosted up to 86, 87, 88. And then his finishing is going to be at that as well with the tight possession. So you're going to have some very decent stats there. You're also going to get the acceleration into 80. I know when you're looking at it, look, would I think this is a viable option for that SS role? I don't think it really is. But with the chip shot control, the long range drive and the long range shooting, as well as first time shot and one touch pass, the only thing you're really missing is double touch. And that doesn't really come into it because he's too slow anyway. So I do think that that is the best version of him. You could go as well if you wanted to. You could go slow and low. What I mean by slow and low, lads, is like cooking, you know, pork or meat or whatever, right? If you're doing some slow roasted meat in the air fryer or in the slow cooker, right? i am gone way off track. I'm hungry. But if you want to go slow and low with him, right? What I mean is you're keeping the ball on the deck and you're just passing at pace and zippy. So you're still going to have that impact sub, but you're not going to be dependent too much on the balance or anything else. So you can take five out of the balance there but that's actually going to open up 16 points that you can use, okay? So why do we do this? Well, if we're going to do this, then the only position that I want to really change up there is for his finishing to be 90. That's kind of where I want to go. Or even at 89, and you can get two more into dribbling to get that into 90. So you have the finishing, the tight possession, the ball control, the offensive awareness, and the balance, all very key stats. And this gives you a 96 overall build. So that is the two versions. As I said, I would probably like... More often than not, lads, I do like to have the dexterity as high as it can possibly go with cards, especially if you are training a card that you know is not going to be starting for you. If you are playing Road to Glory and if you're playing a free account and you're going to spin this guy and get him and you're going to build your team around him, unfortunately, he's not good enough to win you, you know, divisions. Yes, he can win you the odd game here and there, but if you take a look at his other version of the card, this one, this is a slightly different card, right? You've got better aggression, you've got better defensive engagement, better speed and acceleration. This is a slightly different card because he's a deep line, okay? So while this guy is 26 levels, um, this this version of Burkamp, the deep line forward version of Burkamp from the Inter 93-94 season, you can actually make him a very viable running gun player. Yes, you have to pump in a lot of stats, but you can get that 80 acceleration. But on top of that, you can also get 80 speed and the dribbling. So you can make him very, very good if you want to just negate the shooting a little bit and the finishing. So for this version of him, I definitely think that's the right way of going. So look, it is a long video. I will be doubling up the next video. So we'll have three players for the next one. Um, in this one, I think it's going to be Figo, Donadoni, and who's the other player? Uh, Danielson. So we'll have the three of those, and then we will go from there. So hope you enjoyed this video, lads. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you a bit.